So you get the same feeling as a green oak shell, but you're standing on the board. It's still cut out like a green oak shell, but I, I uh, backfill it with the foam so I have something to stand on. Do you see a little dark line right there? Okay, right. Because that's almost the foam almost all the way through. So cosmetically, I don't go all the way through to mess up the paint. So I leave like an eighth inch of foam here uh -huh. so that the resin from the bottom lamination connects to the resin from the top so lamination. So it bleeds through just a little so bit? So the resins actually intermingle and it makes a hinge. It makes your wrist or your elbow or elbow or it can't leave it. Wild. So watch this. Put, it, put the film right here by my elbow. Okay. Did you see that? Yeah, flex. So that's the beaver paddle part, or the platypus tail. Right. Now there's a whole other thing, which is what I'm alluding to here, that when, here's your rail, and here's your fin, and now you got your rail and your fin doing this. Besides the cantilever part, there's five things going on here. You got the cantilever, and you got both sides, going both ways. Whoa. So what, what would you describe it, it does to the ride? If, it, if you're driving a Pinto going 0 to 60, you get you go 6.5 seconds or whatever. If you're driving a Porsche going 0 to 60, it's 4 seconds. It's tapping more of the available energy. Wow. And using it dynamically, because things are like going back and forth, it's constantly displacing more energy.